Hello, welcome back to our channel. I took a little bit of a break for the holidays. You know, most people did. I don't think I needed to explain myself for that one. We're gearing up for seed starting season here. I um, just moved to zone six. If you don't know your growing zone, you can easily do a quick Google search and say, what growing zone am I in? Or type in your zip code. But yeah, we're approaching seed starting season and I got rid of all of my shelving units before we moved here but I brought all of my grow lights with me and so I have one four foot shop light and then I had three shorter squatty little grow lights um, that I got a while ago. I decided to kind of upgrade my my growing station and so I went out and I ordered a steel shelf. You can see it's set up behind me here already. So I'm filming this part of the video after it's all done. This is, if this is your first year that you want to start seeds for your own garden, hopefully this will inspire you even if you're in a really small space like we are right now. So let me show you how we put this together. This is kind of the catch-all room. The shelf is going right behind me. Are you opening it for me? Thank you. I'm gonna see if I can find a tripod to set up a time lapse. Okay, now we put it together. Do not like the single use plastic. Yes. Yep. What can we use these for? <laughs> Seed starters. They have holes in the bottom. Hmm. Pretty big holes. <laughs> we'll put cardboard over. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put it in place. And then I can play around with where to put the lights. And it's great because I picked one that's four foot wide, unlike our other one that was three feet wide. So we had that weird overhang with these shop lights. Mm -hmm. So oops, <laughs> now that I broke the lights, this one should fit perfectly. You got it? Oh man, this is heavy. Let me get this clock out of here before. That's a pretty, pretty sweet fit. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I think this might be one of my favorite songs. Yeah. This feels to me like it's tilted forward. Well, it, it has. Could just be an optical illusion. It has these adjustable feet, where you can turn them and lift them up, which we actually might want to do because it kind of looks like it's tilted forward. You look so bright. So it's the next day and I decided that with two empty shelves, we needed two more lights. So yeah, we may have bought more grow lights, but 
they were super cheap. You can get these at Walmart. I think these ones were $17 each for a four foot grow light. Um, I think that's pretty good.